Shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhaha Kodash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So this your brother Shopper, man. So I was watching Elder Apostle Ram Live, um lesson, and he was going into how the wickedness is, you know, is at an all-time high right now, right? And so it got me to looking up, you know, thinking about different scriptures. And so, yeah, my people's just wicked, man. My people wicked. They love being wicked. They love doing shit that's wrong no matter what, man. Whether it's holidays, whether it's celebrating birthdays, whether it's going to churches, whatever it is. Following Islam, whatever it is. My people just love being wicked, doing shit that go against the, the scriptures. You see here, Serge Ray Borgier, that got nothing to do. You see you right here, the, the Revelation 1 and, 1 and 14, 15, 1 Maccabees, all over the scriptures that tell you that they going to deceive you, that they going to they gonna, um, lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint. They, they going to paint their images as us. This is not what the, what the scriptures say the law look like right here. This is not what the scriptures say the law look like right here. This is more accurate of what the scriptures say the law look like, but they still go to church and they worship this guy. Well, we know um, Jesus don't look like that, but y'all still in there in church. This is amazing to me, man. Let's go Ezekiel chapter 33 and... Let's go 8. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his wicked, from his way, that wicked man shall die in his inequity, but his blood will, will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his inequity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Yeah, so we tell y'all certain things, man, whether it's um, the churches, whether it's certain Israelite groups, whether it's holidays, whatever it is, we tell y'all and then we good, man. We're not going to keep telling y'all that you don't supposed to be doing this or you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be eating this. You shouldn't be doing this or this or that. Do y'all, man. Do y'all, man. Because my people love doing wicked shit anyway, man. We love doing wicked. De uh, therefore, 10. Therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how shall we then live? Say unto them, as I live, saith the Lord power, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? See? So, so the Lord, the Lord like warn them, let them know. Hey, man, I'd rather they live, man. But, hey, if they don't turn away, they going to die, man. So we warning y'all, man. We are warning y'all, man. We are warning y'all. That's what we do, man. We are warning y'all. Oh, y'all, the Bible don't speak like that. You not a man of the Lord if you don't call me on my birthday. That, that, man, that, hey, look, man. Do what y'all want to do. If y'all want to do that, them things and partake in them things, go ahead. Do your thing. Good luck, man, on the day of judgment, man. That's all I could tell you. Good luck on the day of judgment, man. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him 
and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Yeah. So you got to turn from the shit you doing that you know is wrong, man. Because sooner or later, the Lord is not going to, the Lord, sooner or later, the Lord going to do this. Let's get it. Proverbs chapter 1 and think around 24. Let's start there. Proverbs chapter 1 and 20, 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. And I will make known my words unto you. Do these lessons. Do the brothers hitting the highways. Do 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 um the different um ways that you could get this truth. It's even brothers out there. I seen brothers over in um in in um Holland teaching in sign language. It's even brothers teaching in sign language, man. In sign language, man. Because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regard him. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then... Shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. See? For they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yeah, the fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. So the Lord is waiting for you to turn away from the shit that you doing, man. I know it's hard, but what you going to do? You going to choose death or you going to choose life? What you going to choose? You going to choose a chance to be saved or you going to like, well, I'm good with what I'm learning. I'm good with this right here. Okay. Hebrews. No, it's not. I didn't want Hebrews. I wanted Hosea. That's what I wanted. Hosea 5 and 15. I was saying, where's 15 at? Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Yeah, but by, the, by that time, it's going to be too late. When you run into affliction and you turn to the Lord, it's going to be too late. Calling on fake names. The name of the Father is Yahweh. He exists. He to be. Yahweh. Ha wa ya ha wa. His son's name is Ya Ha Wa Shai. Ya Ha Wa Shai. Those are the names you're supposed to be calling on. Ya Ha Wa Shai is he saves or he delivers. These are the names, man. You gotta have these names, man. You gotta have these names, man. These are the names that you need to call on. So yeah, you might get a little think you done got a little. This a little that. Oh, I've been calling on the most high Christ blessed. I've been calling on Jesus Christ, this and this and that. Sooner or later, the Lord is going to stop listening to these things, man. Sooner or later, man, the Lord has a name. His son has a name. You have to, you want to be called your name. How are you not going to call the Lord and his son, the Savior, who's coming back to redeem and pass judgment? How can you not call these individuals, these entities, by their name, their correct names, man? How can you not? How can you not? How can you not? But that's my people, man. My people's like, hey, they love wicked, man. My people love wicked more than the truth. They love tradition. This is what we've been doing. Well, this is how I've been doing it. Well, I've been doing this. For, uh, this is what I want to do. Okay. Okay, go with that. Go with that. Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 2 and 7. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or 
whom did he ever despise that called upon him? You got to have the right name, man. <laughs> you got to have the right name, man. You get to calling on most high Christ, bless Jesus Christ. When it when shit hit the fan, you're going to get cut down, man. You are going to get cut down, man. You are going to get cut down. You are going to get cut down, man. Yeah, I was just sitting there thinking, man, and just that quick lesson, you know, I was like, you know, you sitting around, you like watching lessons, you don't, you don't know if you going to do a lesson yourself, so you watching lessons, then just like that, boom, spirit jumped on me, like, yeah, my people love wicked, my people love wicked more than being right, doing the right thing, they love it, man, they love it, matter of fact, let's get this one right here, what it say, Jeremiah 4 and 22, it says that, it says that. The scripture clearly the Lord telling about Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, stupid. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. Yeah, this is the Lord's people right here. He spelling it out for you. Exactly what I'm saying. So you go, oh, you being harsh. That's the Lord. These are the Lord's words. Hey, I'm using the Lord's words. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 14. For his soul pleaseth, pleased the Lord, therefore hasted he to take him away from among the wicked. For the people saw and understood it not, neither laid they up this in their minds, that his grace and mercy is with his saints. The Israelites are the saints, Psalms 148, um, 14. And Psalms 55 through 7. And that he hath respect unto his chosen. Yeah, the elect. The elect of Israel is the only ones that's going to make it out of here, man. So that's a small, that's one out of three people is going to make it out of here, man. So you want to hold on to things that's going to limit your chances for that, man? Yeah, that, that doing everything according to the scriptures ain't going to guarantee you a seat. You got to have faith and you got to have works. But why would you? You put up with all of the shit your job tell you to do, a uh, landlord tell you to do, a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, stupid boyfriend, a stupid girlfriend, whatever. You put up with all that shit to make that relationship right. But the most important relationship that you could ever have, the relationship with Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you going to put that to the side because you don't see nothing happening right now. Ain't nothing happening right now. And we gonna get we gonna get that one next. That one is next. We're gonna get that one next. 17. For they shall see the end of the wise, and shall not understand that the most high and his counsel have decreed for him, and to what end the Lord have set him in safety. They shall see him and despise him, but the most high shall laugh them to scorn. And they shall hereafter be a vile carcass and a reproach among the dead forevermore. For he shall rend them and cast them down headlong, that they shall be speechless. And he shall shake them from the foundation, and they shall be utterly laid waste and be in sorrow, and their memorial shall perish. And when they cast up the accounts of their sins, they shall come with fear. And their own inequity shall convince them to their face. Yeah, the Lord going to put your shit on a big flat screen TV for you to see. Like, this the shit you was up to, man. This the shit you was up to. Let me get this one. Before we get Ecclesiastes 8, let me get this one. Came in my head. 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. Yeah. 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must uh, all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High. And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Yeah, these heads will get mad at you because you don't want to participate in the shit that's off, the shit that's wicked, the shit that's going off in this society, man. 
But we going to see, though. We going to see. <laughs> we going to see. When shit hit the fan, when shit hit the fan and shit get crazy, we going to see then. They going to be turning for answers and looking for answers, just like when that, that um, Jabberino situation happened. People that ain't never hit my phone up trying to hit me up for advice on how they could get around not taking it. But yeah, okay. Ecclesiastes 8 and 9. All this have I seen and applied my heart unto every work that is done under the sun. There is a time wherein one man ruleth over another to his own hurt. And so I saw the wickedness bur buried, buried, who had come and gone from the place of the holy, and they were forgotten in the city where they had so done. This is all so vanity. Yeah, so heads think that they going to be able to hide the wicked shit that they do. No, the Lord going to remember all this shit. Because sentence, this is the point. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times. See? Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which as as which are as a shadow, because he feareth not the Most High. Yeah. So you think just because you done got away with shit for a certain amount of time, ain't nothing happened to you, I'm good money. So I could keep calling on fake white man Jesus. I could keep doing this. I could keep eating this. I could keep celebrating this. I could keep not listening to what the men of the Lord is saying. Yeah, you could keep doing that. Okay, we going to see how it turn out. When shit go bad, we going to see how it turn out, man. Because shit going to go bad, man. Shit is going to go bad, man. Ezekiel 12 and 22. Son of man, what is the proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying? The days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, I will say the word, and I will perform it, saith the Lord power. See? Sooner or later, everything that everything that's written is is gonna happen 27 son of man behold they of the house of israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come and he prophesies of the times that are far off it ain't gonna happen i'm not gonna never see it i'm gonna keep doing wicked shit and i'm gonna go to the grave and ain't gonna see the end we are in the last days hello therefore say unto them thus saith the lord power there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord power. Yeah, and he going to burn up two-thirds of Israel, man. He going to burn up two-thirds of Israel, man. That's what the Lord said he going to do. Matter of fact, let's get it. None of his words is going to be prolonged no more. So let's read it there for the people that don't believe it. And it's Zeke, Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third part, the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried. Then shall they call upon my name. I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my power. Yeah. They shall call upon my name. You got to have a name, man. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into and is safe. You got to have a name, man. You got to have a name. Let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. Jeremiah. Let's get Jeremiah. 
So we warning y'all, man. Y'all got to stop the bullshit. But, you know, you and your lot. If you two-thirds, you ain't going to stop. You going to find a way to justify the bullshit that's going on. Jeremiah 3 and 21. A voice was heard among upon the high places, weeping and supplication of the children of Israel. For they have perverted their way, and they have forgotten the Lord their power. Return ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backsliding. Behold, we come unto thee, for, our, for thou art the Lord our power. Yeah. You got to return, man. You got to return, man. You got to return. 25. We lie down in our shame and our confusion com covered us. For we have sinned against the Lord our power, we and our fathers, from our youth even unto this day. And have not obeyed the voice of the Lord of our power. Yeah. They like, nah, we not trying to hear what y'all talking about, man. We not trying to hear. We going to keep doing what we want to do. And if you don't want to partake in it, we going to get mad at you. <laughs> we going to turn our nose up at you. Hosea chapter 14, verse 1. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy power, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Take with you words and turn to the Lord. Say unto him, take away all inequity and receive us graciously. So will we render the calves of our lips. Yeah, this is the, the, what, what another scripture say. With their lips, they do worship me, but their heart is far from me, man. For I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely. For my anger is turned away from him. <laughs> yeah, the, you, but you got to turn back, man. You got to try. You can't be doing shit you know is off, but then still wanting the Lord to, to understand. Because that's that Christian spirit, man. I could keep doing wrong while still begging for the Lord to help me, to save me, to do this, to protect me, to blah, 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 blah. But meanwhile, you doing wrong. Meanwhile, you doing wrong. Let's go Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. No, stay the same. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Yeah, when the Lord come to reset this place, to put this place in order, you with a ham sandwich in your hand. You still... With, with a picture of Sir Dre Borgia, white boy Jesus, praying on your knees, praying to white boy Jesus when the Lord cracked the sky. Come on, man. Get right, man. Hello, hello, hello. Couple more. So lock it one long, man. But yeah, it, that just that quick, I got worked up, man. <laughs> just that quick, I got worked up, man. Just that quick. Proverbs chapter... 8 and 35 for whosoever findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the lord but he that sinneth against me wrong of his own soul all they that hate me love death huh <laughs> man please man you got to turn back, man. You got to stop being wicked, man. You got to stop doing the shit you know is off, man. You got to stop doing it, man. You got to try. You got to try, man. You got to try. If it was your, your job that was paying you good money told you to stop, you would. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 8. Yeah, I go to eight. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, the Israelites, and he have care for his elect. That's the only ones that's going to make it out of here. 
but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations which have neglected the righteousness and forsaken the Lord. For whosoever despiseth wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain, their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. Yeah, see? This is what's going to happen, man. This is what's going to happen, man. The Lord going to do some things, man. Let me get this one and close out right here. But you ain't got to believe. You ain't got to believe. Everybody not going to believe. Only the elect going to believe. Romans chapter 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith, the faith of the Most High without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yea, let the power be true. But every man and woman, every man a liar as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings. Well, I, I feel like I could do this and I could do that. And, and the scripture, man, I, that's the white man book. And it was written, uh, okay. That thou mightest be justified in thy saying. And mighty is overcome when thou art judged. So, yeah. So, we gonna close out, man. So, like I said, man, you out here, you still doing shit that's wrong. You still doing things you out here going against the scriptures. You 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 following after these false prophets that's teaching you bullshit or whatever the case. You you worshiping white boy Jesus. You still thinking of the 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 Bible's written by the white man. This, this and that. You still going to these haunted houses, these motherfucking where these pastors at, making all this money, billions of dollars, and getting billions of dollars or whatever. Salaki, so I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. But yeah, you still going to these haunted houses where these these um pastors is making all this money. They done took this 501c agree three agreement and all this shit, and they they set up to mislead you. Okay. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. And you think Islam, Islam, man, forget about it, man. Y'all gonna do what y'all do, man. So with that one, we gonna close out. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukahakwadash, double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth, to the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Kwam Yasharala and the Baba Baba. Rock a thumb, family. Shalom.